Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to install iOS 17 on your iPhone. Let's get started. All right, now the installation and update of iOS 17 on your iPhone is extremely simple, but we do need to prepare things beforehand to ensure that this runs as smooth as possible. So first off, you need to have an iPhone that supports iOS 17. I do have a link in the description that will show you all the iPhones that support it, but most new iPhones are good to go. You then want to make sure that you have your phone connected to Wi-Fi. So make sure Wi-Fi is turned on and obviously faster and more consistent Wi-Fi is best. You also need to have at least 50% battery and you need to plug your iPhone up to the charger. So in this case, it's lightning with the iPhone 14 and older USB-C for iPhone 15. Next, you want to make sure you have enough space on your iPhone. These updates can be quite large. You can see on screen how large this one is, but you're going to open your settings, tap general, tap iPhone storage, and it'll give you a full rundown of how much space you have left on your phone. If you don't, start removing things that you don't need, photos, videos, old messages, and free up that space. Lastly, you want to back up your iPhone. That way, if anything goes wrong, which is extremely rare, you'll still have all your files, folders, and all that good stuff there. So you can use your settings under your profile right here here and then save it to your iCloud or use iTunes on your computer or just save what you want. Like I said, it's rare that anything goes wrong, but just in case, it's better to be safe than sorry. Once we have everything set up, we'll move on to how to install iOS 17 on the iPhone. And for this, we open settings, we tap general, and we tap software update. It should pop up like this where it gives you an option to upgrade to iOS 17. And when you tap on that, you'll be able to see what it's all about. Again, you can see 3.32 gigabytes right there. So you can read about it, tap, learn more, or download and install. Enter in your password. The terms and service, you want to read through this and agree. Tap agree again. And you'll have to wait. You can see the update's been requested. Depending on how many people are updating at that time and how fast your internet speeds are, your download will take longer or shorter. Mine's about nine minutes as of right now. I'll speed this up so you don't have to watch the whole thing and we'll move on to the next step. All right, so we're going to tap install now when you see the prompt and it's going to start installing the update. It took about 30 minutes, 25 minutes or so to download my update, but I didn't have the fastest internet. And there's a lot of people installing this right now. It's going to verify the update right here. Now, while it's installing, you're going to notice your phone turns off and on a few times. You don't want to unplug the phone or turn it off yourself or do anything like that. Best bet is to just let it do its thing. You can see right now, I'm going to speed this up for you so you don't have to watch the whole thing again. But if you're bored, consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel if you're interested in more iPhone tips, tricks and tutorial videos. All right, now that whole process took about 10 minutes and you can see we're on our main screen here. One thing to note that those bars don't fully get to the end. So don't worry about that when the phone restarts and shuts. But right now we're going to set up our new iOS 17 with our phones. We're just gonna swipe up. It's gonna prompt you to enter in your passcode. And then it'll take you here where it says software update is complete. Your iPhone has been updated to iOS 17.0. We'll tap continue. Now it's giving you some information about Siri. We'll hit continue. And then the iPhone analytics here, you can choose to share them with Apple. I don't. So I'll say don't share. And it says, welcome to Apple. Swipe up to get started. And here we are on our iPhone with iOS 17. We'll just open up our settings and go to the general tab here. Tap on software update. And you'll see we have iOS 17.0. iOS is up to date. Once again, this is how you update and install iOS 17 on your iPhone. If you had any issues, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to help you out. I try to respond to all comments that come my way. I'll be posting tons of videos on the new iPhone 15 and iOS 17 with the new features. So if you're interested in that, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, click the bell notification box to be notified when I post new videos. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.